Hello everybody, it's an exciting part of the month for Planet Zoo players as we've got a new update. Update 1.8 coming to Planet Zoo on the 14th of December. Now let's dive into this and I'll give you a rundown of my own thoughts and opinions on this new update. That's right, we're getting a new update to Planet Zoo coming on the 14th of December and this update is update 1.8. I'm so happy that Frontier and Planet Zoo are constantly updating Planet Zoo. It really does make me happy. So let's get into this. I'm going to give you my own thoughts and opinions and let's have a little read through this together. You can give your own thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below on this video. So it starts off, hey your zookeepers. It's time for a deep dive into what you can expect to see in the Planet Zoo free update. Again, another free update. We're happy to announce that update 1.8 will be available for you to dig into from the 14th of December. If you saw our previous restaurants, you if you saw, sorry, if you saw our previous post about restaurants, you already know our developers have been cooking up some exciting new features for you all. But what else can you expect? Let's find out. Restaurants. Restaurants are making their way to Planet Zoo, from the dining to fast food. Serve your guests a unique cul cu culinary experience with this new feature. With up to 20 tables able to be connected per restaurant, flexi colour table options and table placement even being available in safe habitats. Now that is really interesting actually. You've got the freedom to let your creative creativity run wild for full for a full rundown of what you can expect you can take a look at this forum post that's that i'll take you back to a previous forum post where i'll tell you all about restaurants but yeah finally we're getting restaurants in planet zoo everybody this is really exciting i've created many custom restaurants because we haven't had restaurants previously in the game um i've created stuff like in and out burger i've created stuff like um well, other burger chain restaurants like um five guys and stuff like that as well as like courtyard restaurants also so it's really interesting that we're now getting the option to have restaurants in the game and furthermore we're going to move on to shop counters and it says restaurants are at the only way your guests will be able to enjoy their time at your zoos including shop counters this alternative option of creating stores will provide you with a counter only version for an assortment of shops allowing you to create your own custom shop designs Check out this list of what shop counters will be available and it names the, probably the most, um, you know, I think that's all of the shop counters actually, apart from like your information desk and stuff like that um, and some of the um, merchandise shops, that's pretty much all of the shop counters. On top of this there will be a new small signs of the shop logos for you to place on your builds. What theme are you going to do your first custom shop? Again, this is really interesting because, especially for one, for me as well as other some content creators and some more advanced builders in Planet Zoo, who have created similar stuff to this. And what we used to do, which we don't have to do now by the looks of things, but what we used to do is we used to actually create a single path piece behind a custom made shop front and then place um, a staff member on that path plate path piece that was a tongue twister and then delete all the path around it and then that staff member would stay on that path piece giving it the illusion that that staff works at the custom made shop that you've put in but now we're actually going to get fully functional working shop counters which which is great and it's something what not just me but a lot of content creators and a lot of general players in planet zoo have been asking for for a long time so i'm really glad we're getting it but let's move there's a lovely little picture there as well of how it will look but let's move on to burrows dig down deep with our new animal burrowing behavior just in time for winter, this will allow certain animals to explore burrows that can be freely placed in your zoos. Give it so I'm guessing this works as an enrichment item in habitat, um, giving them a place to seek shelter, sleep, adjust to the correct temperature, or even give birth. That's very interesting as well. The entrance to the burrow will always align with the terrain. 
which leads to an underground chamber that will position itself below the entrance. Okay, that's not all. The burrows will come with internal habitat cameras that you can access through the burrow info panels. So you can see exactly what's happening underground. This is really good for especially the people who have a lot of interest in within the animals and, and less interest in the building aspects of Planet Zoo. This is a really good update for those kind of people, those animal lovers out there like myself. With the ability to link them to billboard screens, this means your guests won't miss out either. Very interesting. We move on to animal memorials. Okay, what's this about? Lastly, we know losing your animals is very easy. Yeah, it is very easy, right? And that's why we're adding animal memorials into the game. Give your beloved inhabitants a proper dedicate, dedication to ensure that what to ensure that while they may be gone, they're never forgotten. Oh, that's quite that's quite cute actually. And will always be part of your zoo. And a little love that they've included there as well. This will be split into two parts. A new UI, user interface section to keep track of the animals that have passed away in your zoos and physically memorials that you can place as a tribute to specific animals. Okay. The memorials UI will be added to a new screen to the zoo overview UI and will contain two lists, one to track ha habitat animal deaths and one for exhibit animal deaths. Very interesting, that's a very interesting update and an update um, piece I, I never thought we would get and, it was and I would never see this coming really so it is quite good that they're thinking, uh, they're thinking outside the box with this update. Says here, when choosing what dedication to make, you'll be able to choose from three memorial assets. Memorial plaque screen, which is a screen asset with custom image functionality similar to the billboards already in game. Second option is memorial plaque editable sign brass, a dedicated plaque featuring the animal's name and other information in brass. And the third option is the memorial plaque editable sign limestone, which is looks like it's pretty much the same as the second option, but instead of brass, it will be in limestone. On top of this, you should if should you wish to create an animal memorial for animal outside of your zoo, such as a real world pet, okay, you can do this too. Simply place a blank memorial and edit it manual manually to include the right information. Guests in your zoos will interact with your memorials. That's quite cool. They'll inter our guests in our zoos will actually interact with these memorials as well. That's quite cool. By viewing them if they, if they are close by, stopping to read the dedication, and then receiving a small mood boost, very interesting, due to appreciation of fond memories with the animal. We hope these various memorial features will allow you to create meaningful dedications to your beloved animals, both from within and with outside of Planet Zoo. That's actually quite a cute and adorable update to be uh, update piece to be adding in in update 1.8 in Planet Zoo. Let me know what you think of all these new features being added in update 1.8. I'm looking forward to it to be honest with you i always look forward to any updates planet zoo and frontier release because they do an amazing job they really do if you're new around here feel free to subscribe hit that like button it's been you know it, i've had a lot of positivity and the channel has grown a lot recently and i will continue building amazing builds to show you um doing tutorials of habitats paths buildings whatever you want and also sharing and reading through these lovely updates what frontier released for us and reading through it with you and letting you know what's going on on the planet zoo side of things my name's adam i hope you have a wonderful day hit that like button and i will catch you in the next planet zoo video